Who is this? I didn't hear your voice. I didn't hear your voice. Who is this? Who is this? This is Jesus. Eh? Oh, talk to me. Jesus. This is Jesus, okay? Yes, sir. Time out. And this is equal to Satan. If you say that this is Satan, lift up your hand. Let me see. Bring down your hand. If you say that this is Jesus, lift up your hand. Let me see. Nabia, take a camera and a crowd. Atrom can do a hona and hey, boy, lie. Zoom out completely. Uh huh. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, viewers all over the world, look at me and my church member. Who is this? Jesus. <laughs> Viewers all over the world, see me and my African brothers and sisters. Who is this? Satan. Ebensu. So, how how is that Satan? And that is Jesus. Eh? I want MP, sir. I want again. I want MP. Stand up. Speak English. Sir, uh, I called him Satan because he has a horn. <laughs> and he's black. Ah! What are you? He has a horn and he's black. Oh, Satan is black. That's how they show us. <laughs> Satan, now nah, go there. Satan, that guy there, was a, a brother to Jesus. In fact, let me tell you this. Please, I don't want music. Pay attention also, it will help you. Let me tell you this. Look at that. That Satan that you are seeing there, according to Bible ranking, is higher than Jesus that you are seeing. Because Jesus is the son of God. But this Satan was a messenger of God. This messenger existed before Jesus was born. So this Satan that you are seeing there is a colleague. It's a senior colleague. It's, 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 it's more than. Are we in agreement? Yes. Are you following what you are doing? Yes. So, it means that if Jesus was this handsome, if Jesus was this handsome, Satan was going to be more handsome than this. Are we in agreement? Satan was a messenger of God in heaven. And he was leading the praise team in heaven. That is according to your Bible. He said, Lucifer, he was the one that was leading the praise. Let me ask you a question. If you were God, can you allow a thing like this to come and lead? For? Answer me this question. If you go home today 
Immediately you open your room, you see this man standing. What will you do? You will run away. You will never go back to that house forever and ever. So how was a man like this going to be leading praise in heaven? Brothers and sisters in Africa, if you go to so many churches, if you go to so many churches in Africa today, you will see this picture. I'm not even going far. In your house, if you have this picture in your house, lift up your hand. Or any Jesus picture, lift up your hand. <laughs> So why did you believe that this is Jesus? Have you seen Jesus before? Why? Because a white man described Jesus like this. And you believe. They told you that Jesus is a white man. He has long hair. His eyes is pure white. Everything is white. So they made this picture. If you go to so many churches in Africa, this picture is there. It's bold. Some even go to this picture and kneel down because they believe that this is Jesus. There are so many of you, before you leave your house, you go to this picture. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I go, bless me, bless my market. When you go, you don't sell anything. You come back. Because this is not Jesus. If you go back to your house today, where you put this picture, bring it out. Look for picture of your parents. Whether they are dead or alive, put it there, you shall be blessed. Yeah. Africa, are you hearing what I'm saying? There are so many of you in your house, where you are in your house, the picture of your ancestor is not even there. You don't, if I ask you to describe your grandfather, you can't describe him. But you carry a picture for a man that you don't know. Look at how beautiful this picture is. Not even iPhone 15 can take this type of quality picture. The people that printed this, where did they get camera to snap Jesus when Jesus was here on earth? Those days, there was not even a Nokia touch phone. Yes, sir. There was no single camera anywhere. How did they come up with this? It's painful that you will walk into a church. When you arrive in that church, the man of God will put this very big this picture on the altar very big and that man of God from that church we tell you praise the Lord hallelujah your forefathers were worshipping idol is it true or, or false now because you are brainwashed you believe that our forefathers were worshipping idol Maybe your forefather, I was, I was uh, talking to a man here the other day. Maybe your forefather told you to say, this tree here, anytime you have a problem, go there and pray. Or go there and pour libation. Something will happen. Now, man of God will tell you, I'm coming to your house. Prepare 600,000 naira. Because I'm coming with the 24 prayer warriors. We are going to pray by fire, by thunder. That idol in your father's house shall die. 
that man of God that is coming to kill idol in your house, there is an idol on his altar. Can I talk? After this service, go and make inquiry. Who is my grandfather? Who are my ancestors? Look for their picture. Laminate their picture. Remove this picture from your house and hang their picture there. Their soul shall bless you. This is not Jesus. Jesus does not look like this. If you want to know how Jesus looked like, can I tell you? It's very simple. How many of you have a mirror in your house? Well, you can look at me. 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 You can look You have a mirror in your house. After this service, go to that mirror. Stand on that mirror. Anybody you are seeing in that mirror, that is exactly how Jesus looked like. In the book of Genesis, after the creation of everything, lion was created, tiger was created, snake was created, every other thing was created. When the day that God decided to create human being, he called his angels. He said, come, let us make man. He didn't say in a Hebrew image. He didn't say in a white people image. Huh? He didn't say in a Israeli image. Mm. He said, come, let us make man in our own. In our own. Our own. Our own. Our own. If you want to see how Jesus looked like, go to the mirror in your house. The image that you are seeing there, that is exactly how Jesus looked like. When I was growing up, I used to see a reke, Christian religious knowledge. knowledge. But you see our teacher. When you draw Jesus and paint him black, it's zero over zero. Capital zero. <laughs> but when you draw Satan, God bless you, man. When you draw Satan and paint Satan black, he will give you 20 over 20. Every African man believes that this is Satan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But they have never seen Satan before. Child. And we don't have any questions before. For we are. Papa took me one. Have you seen Satan before? For we are. But you believe that this is Satan. Child. That's why when I ask a question, who is this? Satan! Because I asked the man there why. He says it's because it's black. And he has a horn. Oh, and he has a horn. White people arrange it that everything black is evil. Papa like, thank God for you. Let's celebrate our father in the Lord. Celebrate him, celebrate him. We are coming back. That is why you, right there where you are in this congregation, those of you that are seated outside and those that are watching us from all over the world, if you have a dream and see a black man in your dream, even if he does you like this, ha, you wake up, 
you send Holy Ghost fire to him because you believe that Satan is black and everything black is associated with the devil. Are you wiser than God? Abu Burishi Giko Tanacha. Anya Giko Tanacha. Are you better than God? God bless you. There is a lot and a lot of misconception that is going on. Black people will never go anywhere. Black people, if you go to comment section, if you go to comment section, Nancy is seated in the protocol. She's fighting with a man that is commenting and saying, see your one is a magician. If you go there, you will see people saying, see your one is using demonic power to perform miracles. In the comment section, you will see people saying all kinds of things. Why? Because see, one is a black man. That is why if you go to every church on earth in Africa, you will never see this picture. At all. Even if I put this picture in this church now here. Hey! Hey! Wahala promise, daddy. <laughs> Imagine if I carry this picture and put it on the altar. To your tent, O Israel. Hey, church in the Quincy. Hey, Hey, satanic power. Hey, demonic power. And because it's a black person. But if I put this, I can have so you see it, daddy. Design, I, yeah, Sambra, wah, I put it here. You will see people after the service. Hey, 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 Now, look at this. If you go to a church and you see this image in the altar, one thing you must know is that that man of God there is not enlightened. Hmm? It's like an image. I have explained it. I'm tired of explaining. There are people that put the image of Mary, mother of Jesus. In a 4D picture, very clear picture. But when she was here on earth, there was no camera. How did they capture the picture? But because it's coming from a white man, we believe that this is Jesus. And because he's a white man. Imagine if it was me, see a one that wrote the Bible. I want to conclude by saying this. Think about it. Imagine if it's me, see a one that wrote the Holy Bible. Black person writing a Bible. If you read Bible, you will see a lot of things you will look at and say, hmm, 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 cow mm -mm. But you cannot say it. Why? Because it was written by a white man. And you believe that a white man can never make a mistake. Here where we are today. Here where we are today. And multitude of people outside. We may not even up to 5,000 here. But I'm using microphone to speak. If you go outside, people are the overflow. They are not hearing what I'm saying. We are using more than 20 speakers here. Quality speakers. Count them. But still, you are struggling to hear me. Now, we, are not, we may not be up to 5,000 people here. Then, somebody writes a Bible. And he said that Jesus was speaking to 5,000 men. This is minus women, oh. This is my children. No? And I always tell you, in this generation, where you see 
1,000 men in a church, there are 10,000 women there. Yeah. So let's say that Jesus was speaking to 5,000 men and 10,000 women. That is 15,000. And 1,000 children. That is 16,000. And Jesus is able to stand here in front and say, praise the Lord. And all the whole people in the stadium was able to hear it. Or the possible. But you read it in the Bible. That Jesus, after preaching to 5,000 men, he fed them. How did he preach? There was no microphone those days. How did he speak to them? If it was a black man that wrote Bible, scholars, not from not Muslims, we are among us Christians, they will come and see our Nabia. Come and explain to us how Jesus managed to speak to 5,000 men without microphone. They will cancel it. Say that, that Bible is a lie. The reason why you believe it is because it's, it's written by a white person. What I'm trying to tell you is that you neglect yourself too much. You don't see that you are God's image. If I tell you, thank you, thank you, okay, Jalon, you can, you can. If I tell you to say, describe Jesus for me. You will never describe yourself. You will look for one white person to describe. Say, ah, that is Jesus. But that is not Jesus. Jesus is exactly the way you are. The next time a man of God tells you that they want to remove the idol in your father's house, Make sure that the idol in his altar, he has removed it. At least our forefathers, if they were serving idols, they were serving idols that had the meaning. They were serving living things. Many of them were serving gold. If you go to places in Anambra today, they don't eat AK, they don't eat Agua. They believe that our God is their God. They are serving living things. But there are men of God that are serving that image. Who is that which is not even Jesus? But from that image, they will tell you, let's go to your house and destroy the idol that you follow. That's why the Bible says, before you were pururu no ibeginanya, make sure that you have done what? I have given you just one assignment. Oath. One, that place where you put the picture of Jesus, remove it. That is not Jesus. That is the reason why you are having bad luck. That is the reason why things are not going well in your life. Carry the picture of your parents and appreciate them. When they are alive, when they come and see their picture, they will say, oh, my son appreciates me. My daughter appreciates me. They pray for you. The prayer will work. If they are dead, when they visit your home, they see themselves. They say, wow, my son appreciates me. My daughter appreciates me. They feel better. The more their spirit is happy, the more you are blessed. Unlike going to carry a white man picture, there is a white man that did the film of Jesus. Uh, Mr. Powell. When we are growing up, I bet you I can believe I bet you White people, white people are strong. How am I here? They can do or do. How am I here? How am I here? They are wise. Those days when we are young, when we go for crusade, amount of very big billboard. Jesus, Pontius Pilate, Many, some of us, I don't know about you. Some of us, for three days we couldn't eat. Sir, that is more than that. We are crying for Jesus. Lego da kola and tupa. Yeah. Things that 
had destroyed Africa. That is why here where you are now, you see where you are seated now. You don't value yourself. When you are here, you are pa, 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 sege, mama, bilie, atrami, no, no, chege. All go do one, two, three years, so long as he has a white skin, give bilie, ya, no, de. It's not our fault. It's brainwashed that took place a long time ago. Thank God you are restoring our breath. I am praying for you. I receive from you that you begin to see Jesus in your life. Amen. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Have a discussion with your neighbor. Yes. Joy your neighbor. Can you hear me? Try. Explain to your neighbor. Hey, Laro. Would they pick to Jesus and no law no talk? I shall have why you people outside. I'm talking to you. Explain to your neighbor why your neighbor here motra in the service today. Here motra, would you pick to your forefathers? Many large do I not follow? Okay, would you pick to Jesus and walk in a mahonyo? Do I that my neighbor saw him? Many you could. Mpa, it is too much. Am I opening your eyes? Why, 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 why? You have opened the first eye, I'm opened the second eye. You have even opened my third eye. All the very clear. God bless you for me. Finally. Thank you, sir. How many of you have been to Israel before? In the great Israel. Alan so will you come on? Alan so. One person up. Another person at the back. Alansa, eh? where the temple of God is. Papa, you see what is wrong with us in Africa. What is wrong with us is because we chose to be ignorant. Everything that we go outside looking for, they are here. If you want God and you want to know how God lives, do you know that people sell everything they have to go to Israel? I think Nigeria is better, but where I'm coming from in South Africa, people go to the bank and take loan so that they can go to Israel, to the Holy Land. They think that Israel is where God lives. They think that Israel is where God lives. They read the same Bible that tells them that have you forgotten that your body is the temple? That is where God lives. You cannot find him anywhere except within, inside you. God is a spirit. Say a spirit. A spirit. Push your neighbor and shout spirit. spirit. Shout spirit. Spirit. God is a spirit. Yes, sir. Those of you that go to where they bury Jesus, to go and look for Jesus. Number one, you are not sure where you say that they bury him is where they buried him. Because we are not there. Because we are not there. Number two, if God is a spirit, he needs blood to survive. No spirit can survive without blood. Papa, talk him again. That's why natural not. When someone tells you to say, Abra ne bushon, ono nojan, Abra na toj, Abra ne idre obra. And the one obra na wegra ya wegra, on e bini me obra, where blood pumps. And the other brew, a quick galana mini before I say it's a talk oko. Kebu, ebu halo koka. I was saying a mini now. Mbagi gago. Osotana, kebu, osotewu, kebu. I'm 
para- they don't need that blood. They survive in human blood. Mm. They live in human. Where God is, and he is. If you want to come and operate here now, he will look for somebody that has blood and possess that person to work. Yes, sir. That is why you are here. Whatever I'm doing, it's not me that is doing. There is a spirit that has come and possessed me. I start asking myself, uh-uh. Now, since man have never eaten, I don't feel it because I'm not the one working. That is spirit mm. Mm. That's a spirit. That spirit cannot survive without human blood. Yes, sir. When someone tells you, ah, uh, the spirit that is uh, uh, killing you. Or uh, destroy your family. It needs blood. It's a lie. It doesn't eat that blood. You only look for human blood. That's why listen to this and listen attentively. The Bible says Jesus came and he saw a man that was possessed by legions of demons. He commanded that demon. He said, hey, all of you come out. Those demons you're asking, if you remove us from here, because we can't survive in the tree. Hey! Anyone that tells you that your father, what he's serving is in this tree, cut this tree, you will prosper. It's a lie. Can't be able to share and prosper. Look at you. How old are you? You are nothing. But I'm going to go give you the best place. Then a whole When you are here, get America lota. In your gata was she, Obinoshi. Gine Riana Brana Toshi. Then when you want to leave, if God of Sia One, as God of Sia One is making a lot of millionaires here, I don't China or do Lono Chereno. And let me tell you this. Whether you believe it or not, it shall come to pass. Hey! If you as a human being, you want to live in a house, you want to live in a house, the best form, the best bed. Then Abra, my hair carry again. A brother can see where you cannot see. Ebo bibi gume aga brinoshi. No show her. Mini maya maya. Angu maya maya. It's not possible. It looks for blood. Jesus said, Aha, uh-huh. so what do you want? Because all the people that you are seeing here, when I leave, you, when I cast you out, I don't want you to possess them. They turn and they say, there is a living thing there. Age. When you cast out here, send us there. That is spirit you're talking. There were a lot of Oshishi around. Yes, sir. But they were looking for blood. They can't survive without blood. Read your Bible very well. And Jesus said, okay, go. Leave that person and go. And they ran. They entered the pigs. And because they entered and tested the blood, that is not human blood. They died in the sea. They can't survive without human blood. That's why God said, don't you know that your body, that is where I live. 
It's not in a cow. It's not in a goat. Same as evil spirit. I was delivering a man here this morning. Those of you that didn't come early. That man nearly beat me. He was so powerful. All the security, they couldn't hold him. That power was in him. That demon was in him. It was not in this bush. It was not in the tree. It was not in chicken. He moves and he goes with that power. He, anywhere he goes, he is, he feeds that power. That power needs blood to survive. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Be careful. Wake up. Stop allowing yourself to be brainwashed. 90% of the deliverance that we need in Africa is our brain. Our brain is useless. How can somebody that has an idol in his church stand on the altar and say, every idol in your father's house die and you believe. But the idol, a white man idol, is there in his altar. Stand up wherever you are. God bless you, sir.